I am going to continue to look at some networking stuff in this video. I am going to be looking at hooking up the Cisco Catalyst 2960 switch. It is a managed switch and I'm going to be showing you how to get that going in this video. My name is Roger and I really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, especially those you know who recently subscribed, I really appreciate you becoming a subscriber. And uh, as you watch this and other videos, if you are a new viewer, uh, you know as you go along, you get value from these videos. You get value from the content. I'd really appreciate you subscribing to my channel and also liking the videos and uh, sharing the videos with others so that they can also benefit from the content. All right, so I am going to be looking at the Cisco Catalyst 2960 switch. Let us jump right into the video. All right, so I'm going to start by looking at the front panel of the unit. That's the Catalyst 2960. And uh, starting on the left side, so we have here the LED indicators. Uh, what is this? If I can see clearly, so that is system, status, duplex, and the speed. And these will give a different indicator, this different colors also based on what is happening with the switch uh, at any given time. Uh, the mode button here can be used to reset um, the system to factory default uh, settings and it can also be used to access the express feature uh, to set up the switch. Then we have the console port which is a standard RJ45 port. Now this now allows you to have remote access to the switch so you can you know configure the switch remotely. You can also do your, do your troubleshooting using uh, this mode and that is by using an, an emulator like PuTTY. And then this is a it's an 8 port switch. Uh, it's, they are not PoE. Right, this is one of the older models. Over on the right side here we have the dual purpose ports. Now this again, this is this is for copper, so this is RJ45, and this is S, SFP, which is for your for for your um, fiber connection. So you, these ports can be used to well, they can be used as uplink uh, ports as well as they can be used well more so this here. It can be used to add additional devices to your network, such as a printer. Around the back. Uh, well, there's only one port where well, you have your vent and uh, here is for your power cable. This is a standard power cable. And finally, the switch can be affixed to a cabinet using brackets on either sides. And uh, you can also use brackets. Well, you can, also, you can use these here to affix it to a shelf. Next, let us look at the cable, cables that this unit uses. So I mentioned the power cable already. Uh, the first cable here is your rollover cable. And uh, the rollover cable, same thing as the console cable. So notice that one end is RJ45 and the other DB9 connector. This is, this is female, this is a female connector. This end here would go into, well this is if you're going to be using the console. I uh, would plug into there and then or the other cable which is USB to serial and this is the uh, DB9 to USB so this connects get it right right uh, because it this is an older this is an older model it doesn't come with a USB port and that is why I'm having to do the setup as I am doing here. Uh, and the other end is USB, so this will be plugged into the computer or to the laptop. Here I'm using a I'm using a desktop for this setup here. The next part of the setup process is the software part, which is to use an emulator to do the configuration. Uh, here I'm using Putty. You can download this by going to Google, tapping it there. And download it. It's a very small file. I believe it's on the uh, four megabytes. Uh, here it is. Now the first thing that I need to do is to establish connection. And uh, here, where it says connection type, I'm going to select serial because I'm connecting it. I'm connect connecting the switch to the desktop 
using a serial cable now I need to find out which COM port it is using so I'm gonna go to device manager then here where it says port expand that all right so that is it so it is using COM port 3 so I'm gonna change that to 3 uh, don't need to change anything else there then hit open uh, enter so I am now in the emulator and it is asking me if it wants to uh, initiate initiate configuration uh, I'm gonna select no and then I'm gonna be doing the configuration manually alright so that is you know the preliminaries and overview of how to set up your Catalyst 2960 uh, Cisco switch thanks for watching I am Roger and uh, remember to like share and subscribe take care